How you can avoid getting rejected by women is quite simple. Don't talk to them. Otherwise, it's going to happen. Timing could be off. You might not be her type. There are so many variables that come into play that I would not even spend the time stressing about and thinking about. Whatever happens, happens. Don't come into an interaction with a woman or a person or in sales with this high expectation of, I'm going to close the deal. This is going to be my wife. This is going to be my girlfriend I get in a long-term relationship with. Don't come into it with that mindset. Come into it with, what can I learn? What can I experience? How can I add value to this person? How can I be nice to this person? How can I love on this person? Not, all right, this is the end game. Now we got to do all this stuff to make it all happen. Don't do that, bro. Play it by ear. Maybe you all don't get along. Maybe you think, man, that girl in the gym I see every single day that's so attractive, that's so good looking, that's in amazing shape. Physically, she could be my wife. But then you get the phone number. Then you all start hanging out. And you all go on a couple of dates. And you see, bro, she's unhealed. She has a bunch of stuff going on. She's, she, our personalities just don't match. And then you realize, wow, I was so delusional because she was so attractive to me. And that's what I've done so many times in my life. I've been so attracted to a woman. She checked off the boxes. She's my type. She got curly hair. She's light skinned. She's blonde with a nice tan. She's got blue eyes. She's got long hair. Whatever it is. Whatever phase I'm at in life. And then I'm just like, wow, well, something ends up happening. We don't get along. Timing's off. She flakes on me. She ghosts me. I get rejected. And I'm just like, dang, I didn't think it would go that way. And if you put these high expectations on somebody, it's going to let you down. You'll build up an offense. And then it's going to mess with how you interact with the next person. You'll be comparing them to, to that situation. And it's going to mess with you mentally. It's going to mess with how you act. So come into it, man, with just an open mind. Whatever happens, happens. Maybe this will be my wife one day. Maybe this is a woman of God. But probably not. But it probably won't be my wife. But things probably won't work out. Because think about it, how many best friends have you had? How many homeboys have you had that you met them and the first time you met them in class or whatever, you felt like you'd known them their whole, your whole life and y'all just get along. It's so easy. It's easy to talk to them, but with other people, it's boring, it's stale, it's dry. It's like a forced connection. It's like that with, with, with potential dates too, with potential women too. Most women you just won't click with like that. But when you find the one that does, that's when it's special and that's what you want. That's why you got to get through all the bad apples to get the good apple. Because <laughs> not that many people are compatible with us. It wouldn't be special if we just talked to, if we just had an amazing connection with every single woman. And get this, you could talk to a new woman a different woman every minute until the day you die. So let's say you're like 25 and you die at like 75. You can talk to a woman for every minute of your life up until you die. And you still want to get through all the, the women on this planet. So have the abundance mindset of like, okay, this woman, if things don't go well with this woman, there's another woman at my job, another woman at the gym, another woman at a coffee shop, museum, mall, beach, venue, whatever, another woman, right, across, right around the corner, another woman, no big deal. Because us guys do that. We get sniper mentality. We get tunnel vision on this woman because physically, she's our type. Checks off the boxes. But personality-wise, or interest-wise, you don't have much in common. When you hang out with her, it's like, man, what, what am I doing? Things just feel off. So stop trying to avoid rejection. Just get used to it. Don't take it personal. Like, yes, it could be you. Maybe you approach a woman in the mall and she's just not attracted to you. It's very possible. But so what? It doesn't mean you're ugly. Okay, we all have different types. Like, this woman, you could think she's on a scale of 1 to 10, a 5. She's average. But your homie... Might think she's cute, 
So a 7 or an 8. And another guy may think she's a 10 out of 10. Or another guy may think she's a 2 out of 10. It doesn't really matter, man. We're all different. Attraction is not a choice. Don't take it personal. You can't really change how you look. You can do certain things. But for the most part, attraction is not a choice. If you just talk to more women, then you'll get to the yeses. And you'll get through the noes. Attraction is not a choice. Got to get that down. Or, again, the timing. She may have just gotten out of a relationship. She may have a loved one that just died. <laughs> she may have ha be having a bad day when you approach her. She may be having to study in college for the, uh, the, the final exam. So she don't really have time and headspace and energy to be focused on a guy. You know, she's busy at the job. She's studying for the exam. She's not in that mindset of multitasking. <clears throat> Mentally, she's not there. So understand that's a, it's a variety of reasons why we may get rejected. It's not always personal. It's not always you. It's not, wow, you're so ugly. You're so annoying. You're so short. You're so tall. You're so skinny. It's not always like that. Sometimes it is, but so what? There's women out here that you're not attracted to. Does that mean it's personal? No, it's, it's not a choice you make. It's just... What you find attractive. So look, man. Embrace it. Embrace the game of socializing, building social skills, building knowledge, building testimony, building experience, learning body language, learning communication with people, and, and love it. Embrace it. Because it's easy for us guys to get so emotional and wrapped up in something. You know how many times I've done that and I've been let down? And then I have a bunch of offense in me, a bunch of unforgiveness in me, and it eats me alive? Don't, don't be that guy. Please don't be that guy. If you have that, let go of it. Ask God to heal you of that. Ask God to take that away from you. Because that stuff is horrible. It's so suppressed. You don't even think you have it until something brings it up. And then you realize, I am broken. I need God. I need Jesus. Jesus needs to heal me. So get to this point of wanting to find that special woman. Wanting to find that woman that can be your wife. That you can build with. That would be a good mom. That has good qualities that you like. That checks off, yeah, the box physically, but also personality and her goals and who she is and all that. You know, what she wants to do and how she can help you. That's what you should be doing. Not, all right, let me, let me get my rocks off to a bunch of women. Let me build a rotation of women. Let me do this and that. No, it's stupid. It's, it's vain. It's going to get old. It's going to, it's a waste of time, waste of money, waste of energy. Like, are, do you really want to do that? Do you really want to live that shallow life? You, probably, you might have already lived it, and you can testify that, like, man, it's stupid. It's pointless. It's shallow. It's surface level. It doesn't make sense. Now, some people have to experience that, though. You know, that desire is so strong, it's just like, let me experience it. And before you know it, they're depressed, broken. They keep doing it because it feels good, but they want more. And that more is the life with Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So, yeah, man. 